Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Here we are once again with another Netflix review. Maybe the least popular and least critically acclaimed, Iron Fist. So when talking about the Netflix shows, I've always said, I think they're all very good. Maybe some are better than others. And this would be the case where I think Netflix's Iron Fist is the weaker of them, but still very enjoyable. There'll be no spoilers or major reveals. So you don't have to worry. This will be just, just my thoughts on the two seasons. So it stars Finn Jones as Danny Rand, who's the Iron Fist. Don't know why there's so much hate for him. I kind of enjoyed him in the role. Jessica Henwick as Colleen Wing. Now, this is where casting should get a pat on the back. This actress basically stole the show. She's great. She should be given all the acclaim <laughs> she deserves. Tom Pelfrey as Ward Meacham. Jessica Stoop as Joy Meacham. Winona. That's an in-joke for one person. Anyway, um, there are a couple other actors, and seeing Faramir, I think it's David Wenham, was a um, pleasant surprise. And Simone Missick as Misty Knight, who started on Luke Cage, is actually on the show. And that's another good way of putting it together and Rosario Dawson becomes a uh, presence here also. Although I would say Rosario Dawson's place grows and settles in with Luke Cage. Again, she's used throughout the shows very well to kind of make a bridge between them all. So we got two seasons of Iron Fist. Even though being a, uh, trying to be neutral and objective... I could see where Iron Fist might be the weaker of the Netflix Marvel shows. However, I enjoyed it a lot. From the opening song, for the depiction of the city, its environment, the side characters are done pretty good. I do have a minor nitpick with one of the characters, but like I said, I won't be doing major reveals. But for the most part, done very well. The subplots and the um, tie-ins come in here and there, and you actually get um, another kind of guest from the other shows. It has to deal with his um, with Danny's um, his corporation status. I, like I said, I don't want to give away, but you see the, the actress who plays Trinity. I like the show. It's got a little bit of a supernatural. It kind of broadens on what Daredevil was showing with the hand and ninjas and what what is their background. And that's where they chose to focus Iron Fist. The mystical element, the flashbacks I don't, thought were done well. And I was actually impressed with the fighting, although I think he got better doing the choreography or the team is improving as the season goes on in the second season and the defenders. And then the first season is him coming back from his suppose, I guess, exile and having to deal with Supposedly being dead for a certain amount of time. There are kind of correlations to like what Arrow represents in a way. Although this would be a longer time away. As a child he disappeared. So there's a little bit of where do I fit in? Do I get the company money? Do I um, serve a purpose? Do I have a... a uh, ideal to strive for so i guess that's like my impression of the first season and where 
He's got to find himself. He's running from a past, so to speak, and it catches up to him. I think here's where they did do special effects in the way it's needed. And I thought they did it great. I love the representation of the Iron Fist and the feats he can do with them. Maybe Iron Fist is a more known character to me or more favorable character since if I'm looking at Daredevil and Luke Cage, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, the team-ups they had in the comic were real fun. So I do have an affinity for the character and that could lead to a bias and favoring it or letting some of the uh, nitpicks go by. However, I don't think even the nitpicks are enough to say the show is not worth watching. The second season, I thought it was a little unpredictable and it kind of surprised me in a good way. There is a character arc I'm not too impressed with. However, coming from season one, I thought they did a really good job. You're delving into parts of the supernatural or the uh, their myth, mythical and mystical realms that you don't see too much in the shows. Like I said, hinted maybe here and there. Brought to, brought to the forefront, I guess, in The Defenders, which I'll do a podcast on. But I don't see the hate for the show. The second season might have been more of... Um, what was one of the things I saw? Uh, a wine fest, like he whines a lot. <laughs> but I think the character's portrayed good. And it fits. And it's not going to be for everybody, that's fine. I do understand some of the critiques and some of the things I've read here and there. And I could say, okay, you know, there, there are weaker elements in Netflix's Iron Fist. And Colleen Wing and the actress who plays her just, just seems to steal the show in so many scenes now. I could lend to people's critiques, you know, of the actor playing Iron Fist, uh, Danny Rand. But I liked him a lot. I enjoyed it. He seemed to fit in. I'm not the biggest fan of Game of Thrones, but I think he was on there. Well, I don't know any of them, really. And I was impressed. But you can see she just uh, eats up the camera time and uh, really draws your attention to the show. And for me, that just improves it. I'm not going to look at it as someone else doing a not as good a job. So I like I got two seasons of Iron Fist and I'm happy with them. Yes, they're gonna be on the bottom of my hierarchy of Netflix shows. But even though it's down at the bottom, it's not a bad experience for me. I think it's a better than average show. I found the rewatchability uh a pleasant surprise that it was improved. So it wasn't like I watched it again and felt I had to sit through a bad show. Which I think sometimes you have to do. uh, I think back to when I first started watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I would recommend to people that the first season is a little hard to get through. And if you do, it's worth it because Pound for Pound is a great show. Maybe one of the best comic book shows. So maybe... You know, you see where Iron Fist isn't going for you and you give up on it. And it's understandable, I guess. But my recommendation would be to get through it. It's part of the uh, worthwhile part of the connected Netflix universe. And I think he does an excellent to great job in Defenders. And then, like I said again, it's nice to see a little bit of a mystical aspect, a show that has some special effects that get you excited and displays and feats of power that are seldom seen in the other ones and cleverly done but you watch the movies and you know the comic you've seen other superheroes using powers and even ones that aren't in the Marvel Universe so to speak and I think they did a real good job I'd recommend the show I see no 
major issues with it. Give it a shot. You might like it. Don't hate me if you don't like it. I'll see everybody next time. Thank you.